Hey guys, we're here to talk with Linda, who had an opportunity to get down to Aruba not too long ago. And we're just going to have a little chit chat back and forth here to see how everything went. Linda, why don't you take a moment to introduce yourself and let everybody know who you are. Okay. Hi, I'm Linda Gaddy. I am with my company is Dream Big Travel. And big is all caps because you need to dream big. <laughs> and I'm in West Palm Beach, Florida. Um, and I have been in the travel business. This is my 13th year. Nice. Wonderful. Um, so you, got, you came down to Aruba. Uh, was this your first time to come to Aruba? No, I think it was my seventh and I would come every year if I could. I absolutely love Aruba. Um, it's just, it's a great place to chill. It's very relaxing. And, um, uh, but besides that, there's plenty of activities also. So you don't have to just relax, but because I've been there six times already and I've done a lot, this was just a relaxing trip. Oh, nice. You know, and, and that is so true for the destination. So were there any standout uh, things about the destination that really uh, you want to make sure people are aware of your experience on this previous trip here? This time I went to Renaissance Hotel downtown. I'd been to Renaissance before. Uh, and they have the private island, which is fabulous. Um, but it was not Flamingo Island. The, la the last time I was there, it was more Iguana Island. <laughs> and um, so that was a fabulous experience to be in the water with the flamingos and feeding them. We got some great pictures. So that really was the highlight for this time. Um, and then I also stayed at Manchego Bay on Eagle Beach. And I had never stayed at Eagle Beach before because I've always been on Palm Beach. Yeah. And for those who aren't familiar with Aruba, there's downtown, there's Eagle Beach, and there's Palm Beach. So um, then I went to Eagle Beach for a couple of days and that was really laid back. So that's a great place for honeymooners or people that just want to do nothing and just relax. Palm Beach, I went over there, of course, but um, there's there's just a lot more activity there. So if you want to do something, there's plenty on Palm Beach. Exactly. Even even now with, uh, you know, all the COVID changes that have been going on, and I'm sure when you were there, it still wasn't that busy on island or as crowded on Palm Beach, and it might have had the numbers that we would have normally on Eagle Beach, but <laughs> it's... It, there's still plenty to do on island, uh, which is great, isn't it? There is plenty to do. And, and speaking of COVID, it's very safe there, which is one of the reasons I love going there right now. Um, most people are wearing masks. You don't have to wear it outdoors, but a lot of people did. And I love to dance. I'm a salsa dancer. And I went places that had live music and you're not even allowed to dance. That's how strict they are right now. And the owner of the restaurant or club can be fined if somebody's dancing. So um, the government is very protective right now, which I admire. And so, and plus you had to have um, a negative COVID test to go, which means when you're there, you're looking at all these other people saying, okay, everybody's negative. So this is great. You feel even safer. Correct. Yes, we, we definitely want to have that safety bubble, not only for our locals on island, but for all the visitors coming to the destination. Mm -hmm. So, yes, well, I'm so happy you enjoyed your time on island. Um, you know, we look forward to having you back and all of your clients as well. I hope to be back there every year. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thank you very thank much. Thank you so much for having me.